Hey everyone. The big story the past week has been the stock market, which has been dropping faster than pro-democracy candidates in a Russian election. The FTSE 100 finished the week down nearly 400 points. That's almost as bad as the Italian rugby team. And the Dow Jones put in two historic record-breaking falls before recovering to only finish the week 1,100 points down. And if things get much worse, ExxonMobil will have to start laying off congressmen. Of course, those people who've been holding on to their Carillion shares or their Bitcoins probably think, meh. 5%, what's the big deal? But it's been 10 years since we last had a market crash, and this was but a prelude after all. It's like in those old Roadrunner cartoons where Wile E. Coyote is up in the air looking down at the gorge beneath him. So, with no stock market rally for President Trump to tweet about, what was the White House's reaction? Well, the US tried to bolster markets by agreeing in a somewhat bipartisan manner to blow the deficit into the stratosphere and pass a budget plan that makes Jeremy Corbyn's plans for office look parsimonious in comparison. Still not enough? Well, let's have more bread and circuses then. President Trump also suggested having a massive military parade and the Winter Olympics just started in Korea, if that's your thing. Personally, I always think the Winter Olympics is a bit of a missed opportunity, really. It'd be fun if one year they used the same sports as they do during the regular Summer Olympics, but did them in the snow. Obviously, combining archery and ice would be a bit of a health and safety nightmare, but it'd be really fun to see the Scandinavians dominating the outdoor swimming events or watching the Scottish track and field team win a gold medal before passing around a thermos flask of Bovril. Oh well, if things go really badly with the North Korean situation, we'll end up with a nuclear winter, and then the summer and winter Olympics will practically look indistinguishable. Anyway, see you next week. Let's hope that doesn't happen. And if you like these, click subscribe.